Good morning all. Now today I want to play with uh, this little set of bits which are these lithium battery pack checkers. Um, this one says it's a capacity controller. I'm not quite sure what it means by controller but it's certainly a checker. It will check the individual cell voltages of a lithium battery pack. Uh, this one is one of these in-flight uh, alarm units. It has these two buzzers and they look like they've got these sort of horn outlets to direct the sound. Perhaps you orientate this so that it points down to the ground so that you can hear it better but they look like they're going to be pretty loud. Three digit um, LED display. Now this one has nine pins and if you turn it over it's got instructions and wiring for eight cells. Nine pins gives you capacity for eight cells. This one has eight pins, so this is a seven cell checker, and uh, this one only has seven pins, so this is a six cell checker. Now I also have two of these balanced charging leads. Uh, this one is four wires, so that's for three cells, and this one is nine wires, so that will do eight cells. And even though there's complete consistency in the color coding um, at this end, black, red, white, yellow, and this one also has black, red, white, yellow, as far as I remember from my experiments with the Turnergy charger, this black wire at the end isn't negative. It's not the most negative point of the battery. It's actually this other one at the other end. So gray on this lead and yellow on this one. So it's all a bit inconsistent. And also the pin assignments on these two, uh, this lower pin here is the most negative point, but on this one, it's this upper pin. So everything's very inconsistent and I want to do some experimenting with this just to build up some confidence really. Now all of this is in preparation for when I put these really big uh, lithium iron phosphate LIFEPO4 uh, headway cells into my electric bike to replace the lead acid batteries that are in there at the moment. But strangely enough I just don't feel confident to wire all this stuff up to these big cells. Uh, for fear of blowing something up, melting the wires or damaging these checkers. So I'm not actually going to use these today, I'm going to use something much more tame. So I'm going to build uh, a battery pack using these rather naff um, battery holders or cell holders I should call them and also some low capacity cells. Now these Ultrafire fakes, uh, these were some of the first that I bought on eBay, fell into the same trap as everyone else does and bought these. They're billed as 3000 milliamp hours. They're nothing like that. They're actually more like about five or 600. And I thought that these would be quite useful to do testing on these things. Um, maybe pull a light bulb across um, a three cell pack. I'm going to start with three cells because I happen to have three the same and try and discharge these. See if this little buzzer thing starts to beep. See if this has a buzzer. In fact, this has screws on the back. So I'm going to take that apart and see how it works and just do all my experiments with these very tame batteries. Well, that's interesting. This checker thing does actually have uh, a buzzer in it, so it must have some sort of alarm function. Um, this, I think, is a programming port for the microcontroller. This is the balance charge connecting port for lithium, and this is the uh, port for connecting uh, nickel metal hydrides and nickel cadmium for <laughs> really old school radio control enthusiasts. Um, but what I found interesting about this thing is that on the back there's a whole set of uh, pads for balanced charging circuitry. You can see that there's this huge resistor matrix here which is just not populated at all. There are four positions for four. That's interesting. I wonder if it only does um, balance charging on four of the pins. It does look a bit like it from these connections here. It looks like it only works up at this end. Um, but anyway, these look like they're for MOSFETs. Uh, these are RA. Now, what would RA be? Uh, so more, I don't know, resistors, capacitors here. But this looks like a whole balanced charging circuit that's just not been implemented on this particular model. So I wonder if you can get this type of capacity checker with this balanced charging circuitry on it. I'll have a look for that, I think. So it's a bit of a lash up, um, but I got my three ultra fire cells sitting in their cell holders and I've wired the most negative point to this um, lowest strip on the Veriboard 
and then pause neg, pause neg, all the way up to the most positive point there. And it does seem to be sort of working, because if I put this unit on, which happens to be the right way around for this layout, I am getting something on the display. Let's just go through it. So it says 3CE, all 8.8, .8, number 1, 2.93, number 2, 2.92, number 3, 2.91. It's quite quick. All the cell voltages combined is 8.8. .8. All 8.7. So it's dropping a bit, presumably because of the current that this um, actual LED display is drawing itself. If I disconnect for a moment, first thing it says is 3CE. So three cells. I'm not quite sure what the E means. And then just goes through telling me what each of the cell voltages are. So that's quite good. So the next thing is to connect up this uh, balance charge lead. I'm going to solder these ends here into uh, this Vero board. I'll probably have to take the uh, batteries out before I do that, just in case. But I've just been looking at um, a video I made a little while ago on my Turnergy charger, where I looked into this color coding scheme, if indeed there is one. And uh, it would appear that on these connectors, these wires have just been put into the shell in the opposite order. So I think what I'm going to do is actually reorder these. I'll push these little metal barbs in, slide the wires out and just put them in the exact opposite order with ground up at this end, uh, black sorry, being the lowest voltage up at this end, so that at least black then goes to black on my very board here and it's a bit more logical. So let's do that now. So I'm probably going to have to bend these barbs in quite harshly. That this slips off. Ah, okay, they seem to be coming out now. Just not the black one. That's going to need a bit more encouragement. Well, I got three out anyway. And I'm just going to slide this knife in behind these barbs to just ever so slightly push them back out because they will have got pushed in just a little bit when I press down with the screwdriver on them. That should be better. And with my eight cell wire as a guide, let's push these back in. So it's black, red, white, and yellow. So with little pieces of cardboard holding the batteries off the holders, I can now put little solder points on the very board. Ready for my modified balance charge lead. So there we are, we've got uh, black as the most negative point on the battery array, then red, then white, then yellow, and that comes out to this four pin connector so that's for three cells so let's try the various different i'll take these um, cardboard tabs out the various different checkers and see how they all work so on this uh, lcd one black now is the most negative point so that goes to there and that's giving me a total voltage and then i think 8.761, so that's the three decimal places. I can't be sure quite how accurate that is. It's saying that the batteries are completely empty. I guess that's what 0% means. Um, it seems to be indicating, oh, LiPo up there. I'm not sure what that block is there. So let's try cell. So 2.913, 2.911, 2.913, 2.913. Now, which cell is this? Eight point seven five zero total. So it tells you the individual cells: two point nine oh nine, two point nine one four, two point nine two zero. But it doesn't actually give you a number for which cell it's looking at. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Eight point seven four one is the total voltage of all the cells. Now in mode, we've got max min. So that's the different the difference between the lowest and the highest cell voltages. 
uh, the max is 2.922 and the min is 2.903 and the total is that. So it just gives you these four pieces of information. Yeah, interesting. And I've just noticed that um, on cell I had a shadow covering the top part of the screen. So in fact it does tell you which cell it's measuring. Uh, first cell, second cell, third cell and then the total which is three cells. So yes, it does tell you which one it's measuring. It was just I had it obscured by the uh, shadow on the display. Okay, let's try this one. Well, this one um, has its most negative point out here. So I need to flip this round when I connect it. Let's do that. A very loud buzz. So it's similar to the other one, but this one's got a buzzer. It's telling me number one is 2183, number two is 2.90, number three is 2.84, all of them are 8.54 and it just goes around cycling. Now what I need to do now is trigger uh, the buzzer on this and indeed the buzzer that I discovered was inside this one by allowing these batteries to discharge. Now they're not going to discharge very quickly just with these LEDs on there so I think I'm going to wire a light bulb and a switch across the um, outer connections, the most positive and the most negative, on this board so that I can start draining it down. So I've put a, a 5 watt, 12 volt uh, car light bulb across these outer points here and I couldn't find a switch so I've put a little 2 pin header link and I've got a little jumper there. That should be uh, okay for 5 watts, what's that, about half an amp. That should be fine. Now unfortunately the cells were so flat that they we're really struggling to light the light bulb, so I've put the cells in this charger. They're getting very hot, actually. That's probably because the charger charges at one amp, and these cells are below one amp or one amp hour in capacity, so they're being charged quite aggressively, so they're quite warm. And of course, as soon as they reach 4.2 volts, the current will start to drop down, so they should start to cool down a bit once we're in the constant uh, voltage charge. It won't go above 4.2 volts so the current will start to drop. Still quite warm. That middle one actually is the hottest so that does make sense. Right, they've all reached 4.2 volts now so there's probably not much point doing the constant voltage phase part of the charging because it's much slower so I think I'll pull them out now, put them in my little test rig, and check my capacity checkers. So we have a nice bright lamp now when I put the uh, link on, so that's good. And now let's attach the charger, so that's the negative end, like that. Cool, that is loud. And it's now saying all is 12.3, that's much better. Let's see how quickly that drops when I put the link on. Hmm. I rebooted it actually. It was such a, a current spike it didn't like it and it rebooted. So number three, 4.03, all 12.0. Number one, 3.95. Number two, 3.94. Number three, 4.01. So I'm just going to leave this now uh, with that lamp on and just wait for it to go beep and alert me that uh, one of the cells is low. Now I've just discovered there's a little switch on here, on the end there, and you can set the alert voltage from 2.7 right the way up to 3.7. Uh, uh, so let's set that for, I don't know, 3 volts as an alert. Currently the batteries are much higher than that. Yeah, that's quite useful. Found that out through the instructions on the back. It says um, low voltage alarm mode uh, ranges off to 2.7 to 3.8. Well, it doesn't seem to be quite that. There seems to be quite a range of settings. When the voltage is below the set value, it will buzzer with red LED light. Preset value 3.3, push key which can change the voltage settings and save. Excellent. 
So I've set this thing to alarm, what's the all voltage, 11.6 I think that was, to alarm at uh, 3.5 volts and the cells are down to about 3.8, 3.9 now. And I'm just going to leave this on and uh, play with it and when the alarm goes off I might set it to a lower alarm and then I might try the other uh, checkers and just get a feel for this stuff and uh, so that in preparation for doing it on the Lifey Po 4 cells. Cheerio!